Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about a, a lesser well-known type of frankincense called Boswellia dalzieli. And this sample I've gotten is actually from Nigeria. I'm going to go, go ahead and give it a burn test and a taste test and tell you what its scent profile and taste profile is. Whether uh, What kind of psychoactive, if any, uh, psychoactive uh, properties um, are shown or observed when you chew or masti yeah, masticate with this gum. So yeah, I'm gonna before I go ahead and do those tests, I'll go ahead and describe to you the uh, properties of Boswellia dalzieli or how the natives use it. Specifically, the natives use the bark of the Boswellia dalzieli tree for improving the function of the liver to treat tuber uh, tuberculosis, gingivitis, uh, skin uh, and digestive disorders, musculoskeletal and nervous disorders, breathing problems and infections. The bark is also used as a fumigant, specifically uh, it is burnt to uh, drive out the insects and mosquitoes and flies and other types of pests. I think um, the resin burning any part of the tree would also work as long as it has the, the, that, um, the essential oil that drives off those insects. And let's see, the oleo gum resin also uh, is shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, do a burn test. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera uh, angle of the camera. And you can see I have my incense burner set, set up right down below. So now I'm going to go ahead and light my coal and uh, burn a sample of the Bolzwellia Dalzieli um, tier and tell you what it smells like. Usually it's best to wait until the coal is totally white before you add a sample. For the sake of curiosity, I'll go ahead and see what it smells like. Let's see if the coal is hot enough. It's adequately hot. I'll go ahead and put down a sample of the Dalzieli uh, frankincense. It smells uh, piney. It smells very much like car tree in terms of its um, pine scent. It smells uh, a little uh, lemony in a way. Oh damn. It smells like, like sweet lemon. It's very reminiscent of the uh, Boswellia car tree, but it's more like a kind of bittersweet smell to it. I'll let you watch it burn. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down one of these um, frankincense tears on top and tell you what the Dalziali smells like. Yes, sweet lemon, that's what I smell. Very sweet. Slightly piney, it's, uh, it's quite piney actually. It's a very peppermint-like smell. Yes, sweet and very peppery. So I guess that's why they call peppermint peppermint for its um, t uh, smell and, and taste. And for its coolness. So to wrap it up, it smells piney, uh, slightly lemony. It smells um, uh, quite sweet and a bit like peppermint. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and give this a taste test. This also has a kind of fresh taste that I attribute to the, the turpin content, the essential oil content 
which is in the gum. It's uh, slightly bitter. It's uh, it tastes like a bit like the bitterness that you get from plants. It has a nice cool feel in the mouth. It's very soft, very soft. Although it's not sweet, it reminds me a bit of like candy. I could um, I feel comfortable just swallowing this compared to some other gums I've chewed before. It's very soft. And I won't actually recommend to use it as a chewing gum because it basically melts in the mouth. Slightly lemony, a slight like a drop of lemon. But compared to Boswell Cartree, it doesn't have a such pronounced le uh, lemon scent or flavor. <coughs> so yeah, that's my uh, scent and taste test of Boswellia dalzelia, which, the, which is uh, used in some parts of Africa. Specific specifically, this uh, plant is found in Western Africa, if, I, my, if my memory serves me correctly. And so, yeah, that's my taste test and um, scent profiling. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and, subscri and subscribe to my channel. Bye.